Hey, what's up guys, it's Da Vinci, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an NBA Youngboy type beat. So first off, we're gonna start with the piano. I'm, I'm gonna be using this plugin called uh, Contact, and I'm gonna be using this bank called Noir Piano, and I'm just gonna be using the Jazzy preset. So yeah, and I'm gonna be playing at uh, 143. Okay, cool. So we got a little piano chord melody going on right there. Um, let me do that. Hold up. Move it over. Now I'm going to throw some RC20 on top of the um, piano to give it some more reverb and effects and whatnot. Okay, the next sound I have here is an organ. Yeah, so the next sound I'm gonna use here is an organ. I'm using contact again, and I'm gonna be using the vintage organ bank, and I'm just gonna be using basic gospel one. It's a, a really, really nice organ. I love this organ so much, but yeah, I'm about to play a nice little organ lead over this. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So we hit that. Okay, so the next sound we're gonna add here is a vocal um, chop type sound. So I'm gonna go into Splice. I'm just waiting for it to load up, but I'm gonna find a cool little vocal sample to put in and kind of chop up with this beat. The Splice finally loaded up and I was able to put in this vocal sample right here. Um, basically, I just put it on beat, changed the pitch down to C minor, or C sharp minor to match the uh, key of the chords we played. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Really quick, I'm just gonna quantize this organ real quick. Okay, so I just quantized the organ. Now I'm gonna start doing some drums on this. And I'm gonna be using the Da Vinci Kit Volume 1 today. If you guys are interested in any of my sound kits, they're available on my website, link in the description. I also have videos on my YouTube channel showing all the sounds and all these kits. Uh, you know, if you wanna check them out or whatnot. They also got pretty dope loops in them too. And I'm also gonna be releasing another sound kit at the end of this week, so stay tuned for that as well. But nonetheless, let's start doing some uh, drums on this. I'm going to turn the BPM up a little bit. I got a 
I fixed that snare. <laughs> That's a little off beat. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Now that we have some good percussion laid out, I'm gonna play out an 808 melody to this. Uh, I'm just gonna be using like a basic plug 808. Just like, yeah, something basic. Awesome, awesome. I like that 808 pattern. I think I might. Hold on. I think I'm gonna change the way actually to this one. Alright, the last sound I'm gonna add is a kick drum. Pretty basic. I'm just gonna turn up the volume a little bit so it hits. Ooh, actually, I, on the master I have a free limiter, but I'm gonna replace that with a a soft clipper. I'm just gonna add like a little electric piano. So it'll be like this. Awesome. So now we got the beat kind of done. I'm just gonna do a quick arrangement on it. So, uh, yeah, so it has a little arrangement to it. Okay, so let me just do this. We're just gonna take the drums out in the beginning. So, you know, so that you can hear the build up and whatnot. <laughs>
that a little better, like the, um, the vocals being a little more tighter. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm actually gonna add one more sound. I just wanna add like a bass line underneath the chords. So, you know, just give it, just for the intro to give it a little more like hype. So yeah. Just write the intro. But yeah, that's the finished beat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are able to learn some cool things. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate you guys for watching all the way through. Thank you so much. Peace.